for the UP GTI, squeezing another 25 horsepower out of the tiny EA211 turbocharged three-banger was no easy feat, say the engineers. This is the first VW engine to be certified according to the most recent, ultra-challenging European emission standards. The hardware is almost identical to the 89 horsepower version, although the pistons have been modified, fuel injection pressure is increased, and the turbocharger features a different geometry. VW had to overcome the increased back pressure of the new exhaust system featuring two catalytic converters, one of which also serves as a particulate filter. The exhaust treatment not only saps power but has another disadvantage, it makes this car even quieter, so VW had to resort to artificial sound enhancement inside the cabin. But unlike many other overly synthesized examples of this technology, the UP GTIs actually works well, augmenting the characterful, sonorous sound of the three-cylinder engine. The peak of 148 pounds to foot of torque is available from 2,000 to 3,500 revolutions per minute, but the three banger still excels when revved beyond 4,000 revolutions per minute. In the upper reaches of the tack, the engine feels lively and sporty. The only transmission offered is a six speed manual, which is exclusive to the GTI, and it works beautifully. However, Straight line performance remains rather modest, the UP GTI can reach 62 miles per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds, according to its maker, and tops out at 122 miles per hour. The GTI's engine is clearly superior to the version in the UP TSI, but the chassis has made an even greater leap. The steering is more direct, the GTI sits 0.6 inch lower on a firmer suspension, and the anti-roll bar is stiffened by 30%. The wheel offset also is greater, and the track has been widened as much as possible without necessitating modifications to the body. All the effort has paid off. This up feels a lot stiffer, the tendency to understeer has been greatly reduced, and the steering is connected and direct. We also love the strong brakes. Behind the wheel, one feels instant harmony with the car and the road, and even though the UP GTI doesn't deliver rocket-like straight-line acceleration, it's truly fun to drive. The only serious competitor to the UP GTI is the Fiat 500 Abarth. The raucous Abarth is more powerful but severely lacking in refinement, and we'd be tempted to choose the sophisticated VW instead. Alas, that's a choice that won't be offered to buyers in the United States. For now, you'll have to take our word for it, at least in some corners of Volkswagen's Wolfsburg headquarters, the good times are still rolling.